So you want to make a knife, but you don't have a 2x72 belt grinder, any kind of belt grinder, drill press, a forge. But if you got $20, $25 and one of them cheap tool stores nearby you, I'm going to show you how to make a Tantoish style knife out of a file with an angle grinder. So we'll be using a Nicholson brand file, it's old, and an angle grinder. We'll be using a cutoff wheel, a regular grinding wheel, and a flap disc wheel. So let's get to it. So the thing with the file, it's very hard and brittle. It's already been heat treated and it's made to cut steel. Now you can cut your knife out and do all that stuff and then do what we're gonna do next, which is temper it. That will reduce the hardness a little bit make it a little more tougher, it won't be as brittle. I like to do that first. So I'm gonna go ahead and temper the knife at 400 degrees for two hours twice. So the thing you have to remember is it's already been heat treated. So all we're gonna do is temper it. Now, we're not gonna be using a forge, anything like that. This is just for someone that doesn't have all that kind of equipment. We're just gonna be making this knife from an angle grinder. So that means we gotta watch our heat when we start profiling it cutting the bevels and that sort of thing. I can't stress them enough. If you get it too hot, you'll ruin it. If you get beyond a gold color into the purple, you have softened the edge too much or softened the blade too much and it'll ruin it. So keep that in mind. We're gonna be using fresh discs to do the cutting and profiling and the bevel cutting and I'll be cooling it with water. Now I do 99.9% .9 of my grinding after heat treat anyway, but I'm running on a two by 72 where I can control the speed, run it slow with a fresh 36 or 50 grit belt. I can keep that blade cool. I don't ruin the temper. With a angle grinder, you're talking about high RPM. So you have to be very careful, very delicate. Use water and keep it cool. I can't stress it enough, but you can do it. 